<laughs> that little Caldwell Claymore is pretty cool. Guys, this is a brand new build that I just built. I uh, can't go into a lot of details because of YouTube's terms and condition, but at least I can show you what I have put together. Let's get into the video. A couple of weeks ago, I called my good friends at Brownells and I was like, you know what? I want to build a crazy 1022. Now, you may be familiar with Ruger 1022s. Yes, this is nothing on here is made by Ruger. The only thing that I use that is a Ruger product are the magazines, okay? Everything else is all custom made from different companies. Now, I guess the first thing that sticks out most is the barrel. This is a Faxon barrel. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's a good target barrel. I wouldn't call it a match barrel, but it is a good target barrel. Brownell sent me their BRN22 receiver right here. I do have a pick rail on top, and this is a gray birch uh, chassis. Now this chassis is aluminum, and it is super, super light, and it your receiver and everything fits in there very, very tight. Now it does uh, collapse, so if I can figure it out, yeah, there you go. It does collapse, and you do have your adjustment for your cheek riser and also your length of pull. You have to use a standard AR-15 grip on it, and I've got my Banish 22 suppressor on it. Now I've told you a little bit about it. Let's do some shooting. I'm shooting some regular CCI standard velocity ammunition, and let's just go across the creek here. Whoops. This thing is quite dirty because I have been putting a lot of rounds suppressed through it. So let's go out there at 100 yards, see if I can hit that four inch plate. Whoop, I hit it once, I nicked it once and hit it square once. But when I first posted this rifle on Instagram and Facebook, I wanted you guys to name it, okay? I named the majority or all of my firearms, especially when it comes to my build. And some of you guys came up with some really, really good names. I think over a thousand comments in 24 hours of what you wanted me to name this. So I have come up with the name Plinker Bell. All right. Now I didn't come up with it. One of you guys mentioned Plinker Bell and I think a Plinker Bell is the perfect fit to this setup. All right, let's do some more shooting here. All right, I got to go back and hit that that 100 yard target again. I think I can hit it a little bit better than that. Whoop, light primer strike, I bet. Yeah, this thing is getting dirty. Put several hundred rounds through it today. Hadn't cleaned it. Nailed it. All right, let's go with the dueling trigger right here. <laughs> so she shoots, she shoots well. However, in my opinion, um, I was shooting it from the bench earlier. This is a good target rifle, okay? This is a good squirrel rifle. This is a good uh, still challenge setup because it is super, super light. But I would not consider this a match rifle, okay? Your match rifles would be like your Voodoos, your Vakortsons. You get much tighter groups out of them. This off the of camera, I was shooting about, about an inch and a half to an inch and a quarter at 100 yards. That's definitely minute of squirrel, and most of your steel competitions are up close and you're aiming at a bigger target, so you wouldn't have to shoot those smaller groups. But I think it looks really cool, really rad, even the bolt with the extended bolt handle. I think it's awesome. The Vakortsin trigger, and <laughs> if you've ever shot a Vakortsin trigger, two and a half pounds, this thing breaks like glass. Um, I really, really dig it. Now, I'm gonna back up here at 100 yards put some Caldwell paper up there. Let me see what kind of groups I can get. And probably if I'm feeling froggy, try your know your limit target at hundred yards. But again, this is not a match rifle. This is just a fun target rifle. Let's do some more shooting. All right, I have a Caldwell target downrange at a hundred yards. Let's see what Plinker Bell can do. I'm gonna go for groups here. See if it's very accurate. All right, I had a malfunction. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, I think it went in there.
Well, that is about a, well, that's about an inch and a half group. I think I can do better than that. Let's see if I can shoot that other one beside it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That's about, that looks about like an inch. So this setup is, it will shoot MOA. Got a little bit of wind out here. I guess I could fine tune the scope a little bit. It looks like it's shooting about an inch to the right and about an inch low. So let me load up another magazine and I'm gonna try to do some shooting on your know your limit targets at 100 yards. All right, I have my Know Your Limit target set up downrange at 100 yards. Now, in my opinion, this is a good target setup. Uh, I wouldn't consider it match. So I'm going to try to hit the Know Your Limit target a few times. And on top of here, I've got the Crimson Trace Hardline Pro. This particular one is a 5x20, and it's got a good MOA reticle in it. So we're going to try to hit your Know Your Limit targets a few times down here at 100. Uh, barely nicked it. Bolt's hanging up on me a little bit. That's not a good hit. Let's try it again. <laughs> there we go. I found my hold. So I think I can hit it a few more times. Once I found my hold, that's the hard thing about the know your limit targets is, you know, you can try to hit them and try to hit them and try to hit them, but if you're off just a little bit, you know, it makes it a little difficult. So let me load up a few more rounds. So I, I've got to hold it at 11 o'clock. You can say that I started off pretty bad. <laughs> See if I can hit some of these smaller ones. All right, 11 o'clock hold. There we go. Oh, I hit that really small one. No way I can hit this one. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that target's supposed to be shot at at 50 yards. We're shooting it at 100, but this is a this is a cool little setup. You know, it is super super ultra light, um, but in my opinion, it's a good target rifle. Okay, it's not a good match rifle. So if you're going to try to use this particular setup for you know competition, maybe if you're doing like steel challenge, that would work. But if you're going to try to do some PRS, some long range shooting, accuracy groups. Um, there are other options out there, in my opinion, that will be more accurate, such as, you know, your Voodoo's or your Vakortsons. Um, but yeah, it's a fun little setup. It was a fun little build. Um, but yeah, she'll shoot about an inch, inch and a quarter at 100 yards. But that's pretty good for 22 long rifle, especially with a little bit of a breeze that we got going on. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can put them in the bottom of the comments or go over to my Instagram Facebook page or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking.